time for a float. I haven't been here for a while. And I'm so stoked because I'm so excited to be back in Vancouver. For those that haven't done a float before, you gotta check out, I got a cool article all about the benefits of floating. But check this out. Ninety minutes of sensory deprivation. Just floating. But I'm doing something different today. They've introduced music. So you can actually have some calm, soothing music while you do the float. So this would be a first for me to have that kind of a sound while I float. So I chose Tibetan enchanting. <laughs> We're gonna see how that goes for 90 minutes. Get me into a Zen state. Okay, <laughs> see you after. <sighs> that was awesome. <laughs> there was one point where you know sometimes when you wake up from a, a dream or like that lucid state and you feel like you're falling and then you just, oh, I did that in the water. Splash some water in my eye actually and it's salt water, it stings. So don't do that. <laughs> and then I'm in here trying to find the latch to, to get open but I can't open my eyes. And then, anyways, it was rather humorous. Wish you could have seen it. But I feel so good after that. If you haven't tried floating, you gotta give it a go. Check out the float house, and um, I'd be curious to know if it's your first experience, what's it like for you? I know for myself, you know, I've done it a number of times now, and uh, every time something new, it's like a new experience. I find I'm able to get into a deeper state of relaxation, and every time I do it, so it must be a, just with becoming more comfortable with the process, I guess. So, it keeps me coming back. I love how I feel. Oh. <sighs> Hard to articulate right now, but check it out. Let me know what you think. Bye, guys.